So just one second. Good evening, everyone. So today we are going to start the technical discussions on Dima package. The topic is uh, fluid mechanics. So we'll start from the first topic that is viscosity. Can anyone tell me what is viscosity? Viscosity yes. is a fluid which is to flow from one portion to another, uh, another neighbor portion. Uh, okay. This is to change its shape of momentum of neighbor cushion. Uh, it is a dynamic viscosity. I am saying that. Uh, and then the SI unit of uh, dynamic viscosity was uh, Newton, Newton second per meter square. And then uh, CS stress is equal to formula was uh, CS stress is equal to mu into d theta by dt. The definition, uh, we can uh, just understand. Uh, just, just let, uh, can I? Yes, yes, Kushia, please. Uh, actually, viscosity it is the property of the fluid which oppose the relative motion between the layers. Between its layers, yeah, correct. It has, uh, it has two types kinematic viscosity and the absolute viscosity. The kinematic viscosity and absolute viscosity has in the relation that kinetic, kinematic viscosity is equal to absolute viscosity divided by the density of the fluid. And uh, its SI unit is a Stokes and uh, absolute viscosity has in the SI unit that is uh, with Newton per second meter square, Newton second per meter square. Uh, can you please explain uh, what is absolute viscosity? Uh, absolute viscosity that it, it means the tangential force per unit area required to move a horizontal plane with, with respect to another actually when we are dealing with the when we are dealing with the motion of the of fluid then we encounter this Do you have any questions regarding uh, viscosity that may come, uh, come into your mind or that may uh, can uh, can be asked in interviews? I think just what is viscosity and the types of viscosity, SI units and uh, the CGS unit, correct? I don't have any questions. Okay. So, uh, do you know the CGS unit of uh, absolute viscosity? Uh, CGS unit the... was Stokes. And, uh, oh, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, Kinetic viscosity was uh, CG unit centi stokes. Poise, poise. It's actually poise, correct? Yeah. Kinetic poise, viscosity poise. CGS unit is uh, stokes. Poise. And uh, one stokes is equal to 100 CST. And what, what? One stokes is equal to 100 CST. You are saying that kinetic viscosity CGS unit was. Centi Stokes, right? Stokes. Stokes. That, that is a psi unit is Stokes and CGI, uh, CGS unit Newton is... Newton per meter square, right? No, Newton second per meter square, right? That yeah, is absolute viscosity. Absolute viscosity. Then uh, CGS unit is Poise. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. Correct. correct. No, uh, for kinetic viscosity, isn't it one Stokes is equal to 100 uh, Centi Stokes? Yeah, that's correct. But no, uh, no. yes, yes, the unit of uh, kinetic viscosity was Stokes and then uh, CG unit was Cindy Stokes. Okay, so I think in the blog, uh, then we need to make correction. Because in the blogs we wrote that. Sir, Raj, can, I, can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have been the member of Dream, Dreamer Package. Yeah. And uh, I have uh, attempted uh, mostly all 70% of the courses. Yeah. But uh, the problem was the knowledge is fine, but uh, the class is excellent. Everything is excellent. But the relevant questions, the topics are uh, taught us, 
in fluid mechanics like viscosity and uh, um, uh, the one part the centrifugal centrifugal pump and compressor these two part having the more type of question but uh, another part even i have performed uh, samudra ims goa and anglo anglo is having a great level i didn't find questions from this to these topics from the syllabus of prima uh, package you are saying right yes 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 have you observed that notice that or not see uh, like from pumps i think uh, many things are covered but for compressors uh, still we need uh, to add more topics yes correct you are right because uh, many of the topics like uh, suction pressure discharge pressure of centrifugal pump and uh, components and everything is i think covered for centrifugal pumps right in anglo uh, is there any other questions from centrifugal pumps actually a lot of question was there a uh, hundred of question and uh, it was a pressure to do it within a time so clearly i do not remember but there was a uh, question on centrifugal pump uh, and uh, there was also question sir for us that uh, in a boiler what is the uh, in boiler mounting select one of those which is mechanical mounting in boiler mounting select one of those which are mechanical mountings mechanical mountings in anglo recently i have given you are saying about the online exam right yes 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 okay so what are the options for mechanical mountings actually i click on the feed pump <laughs> um, i i also think i was also thinking the same answer maybe the feed pump that's a mechanical mounting anybody else can uh, give the inputs on this question what's a mechanical mounting uh, in boiler anybody okay i'll just write that question i think it's feed pump but still any other questions yeah i have a question yeah. uh what if the impeller rotate in the clockwise direction uh that's mean uh, impeller is rotating in clockwise direction uh what if the impeller rotate in reverse direction happen what happen what will happen ah uh, yeah what will happen impeller rotate in reverse direction uh this was asked by uh jack uh, in whatsapp group i didn't get the answer uh, so can you in uh, can any centrifugal pump if uh, the impeller rota will rotate in uh, anti clockwise direction oh, what can you repeat the question sir uh, will you make it understand me uh, i will try yeah. uh, can you please repeat the question uh the impeller is rotating to discharge side okay yes correct uh what happen if the impeller is impeller is rotated in reverse direction reverse direction yeah this question was asked by jack what's up so uh, actually i'm not getting what will what will happen means what uh, according to what effect it will be like he is asking if the direction of the impeller will be reversed then what will be uh, like what will happen Will the suction take place? Will the discharge take place? It will work. Somebody is saying uh, it will work in the same manner. Okay. No, no, no. no. Actually, the suction will takes place. The suction will the suction will take place, and uh, according to me, the motion will be different, but the suction was the same because uh, uh, when we deal with the uh, centrifugal pump, we come. You know, there is a term that is NPHS. net positive suction head if the suction was there the impeller will work whether the direction may be the different but the suction should be there anybody else wants to answer this question uh, amount of fluid trapped uh, will be less because in backward curve blades the amount of fluid trapped is more 
so if it is uh, been rotated in the opposite direction the amount of fluid trapped will be less so the pump efficiency should also be less because of this i'm not sure no, but uh, i think so yes you're correct but uh, i am right the impeller is the direction of the impeller if it will be forward curve i'm thinking will the suction uh, will it able to recharge will it be able to recharge the water i think it will right what are you saying kush i i think it will not discharge because uh, one thing when you think the suction will create when the impeller rotates is it uh, is it right now when the impeller rotates and the impeller rotates the suction created when it will reverse the suction will be created but uh, but it is not that efficient i think yeah uh, i think flow rate will be less it will be flow but rate will be less i think yes i think i also think so the flow rate will be less and uh, will because you uh, not be able to trap a uh, huge amount of fluid since the direction of the impeller has been changed yes yes but suction will take place right because the pump is still the void the negative yes. pressure zone is still being created as the yeah. impeller will uh, if the impeller rotates the suction, suction will take place yes yes, yes. definitely will still take place maybe the efficiency will be dropped yeah yes. and flow yes. rate will be also i'm just noting down the question so we we are not able to get any perfect answer because i was i searched in the net but uh, i couldn't find a uh, good answer so i'll just ask sir this question <laughs> yeah uh, i have a question uh, if the interviewer will ask how we can uh, reverse the direction of two stroke engine so uh, so is it the good questions maybe uh, they will ask for oh, ims uh, yeah, it's the yes. the shaft will the, the shaft will rotate in uh, in other direction. direction yeah no if we if he asks how how it's happen like so i just search something so i found that to reverse engine we need to reverse two things uh, one is fuel pump injections fuel pump uh, timing and the air uh air uh, injection timing and there is a valve uh, his name is pneumatic valve uh, and there have a compressor cylinder that push the uh, the cam shaft uh, follower the shift another is to have a, a radial air uh, something like that so i didn't get much knowledge so i just saw the video from marine inside video so how to stroke engine diesel engine reverse there's a extra set of cam right so it shifts and the firing order also changes and you are yeah. right the yeah. uh, fuel injection timing also changes and the starting air valve uh, timing also changes correct yeah and uh, in video uh, he said like there is no need to change uh, exhaust or scavenging timing just need to change two things uh fuel injection uh, and air injection timing have to be reversed because because if we reverse the fire order will also reverse so need to change air uh, intake uh, reversal so there is a I'm, mechanism yeah i am satisfied with this answer yes i am also fog fuel yes for fuel injection and the ag injection you need to change the direction of cam yeah one extra yeah. No, no, right? yeah you need to change the direction of cam he, what Not he cam said yeah. what he said he also said the valve timing also the valve timing will also perform a role and the pneumatic valve there is a valve pneumatic valve that work on the uh, cam soft cam soft is also there cam follower rollers called cam follower rollers need to shift 
if you see the video you will understand yes sir. so you you will see the components yes sir. i think uh, this question is also asked in ims right is somebody to train for ims i am preparing for anglo okay let's wait for anglo mac can i send the video yes please can just share the video uh, link in the group So should we just move on? So what's the relation of uh, viscosity uh, with respect to temperature? Uh, viscosity will be changed when temperature was increased. Uh, if the temperature was increased, means the viscosity will decreases. Yes, uh, you are saying uh, for gases it's different, right? And uh, for liquid it's different. Viscosity is directly proportional to temperature for gases, correct? If the temperature will increase, the viscosity will also increase for in case of gases. And no, in in reverse, uh, if you increase the uh, temperature in liquid, will uh, viscosity will decrease, but in yes. air it will increase. Yes, for gases it is directly proportional. and for liquids it is inversely proportional right temperature is inversely yes, proportional yes, to viscosity yes. for liquids and uh, what's the uh, importance of uh, viscosity in lubrication can anybody tell me uh what was the question uh, what's the importance of uh, viscosity for lubrication so i think for uh, lubrication we need uh, we need to uh, lube the engine so ia viscous uh, fluid cannot be entered in the gap of piston and the piston liner so we need to, so we need to the uh, pre the engine oil or so that uh, sorry oil lubrication oil uh, and then fuel lubrication oil get in get into the gap am i right correct yeah uh, it is required where one is uh, part of a machine is stationary and the other part is moving right so to reduce the friction and wear and tear we require lubrication is and there heater for that the boil i don't think so uh, lube oil heater no heater cooler is, right lube oil cooler is present to maintain yeah, no the temperature no, no heater temperature. for the no heater for the heating because it has some viscosity index according to index range of index the viscosity doesn't change so it has the oil has a certain viscosity index in case it goes above some temperature then you have a lube oil cooler there is no such heat, heat heater oh. it, yeah there is only heater for the heavy fuel oh. i've never heard about lube oil heater yeah i heard about oil heater in vapor compression efficiency cycle Uh, oil heater for compressor that yeah for compressor vapor compression refrigeration cycle compressor correct yeah uh, in in vcrs in compressor there is uh, a lube oil heater am i right i'm sir sorry what pardon sabra uh, in compressor in vcrs system yes. there yeah. is lube oil heater uh, for the compressor correct Yeah, 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 yeah. That is because yeah. it goes be very low temperature. Low temperature. Right? Yeah, because sometimes, yeah. Okay. That's why uh, need oil heater there. Not in every compressor, only V uh, C R S com uh, compressor. Yes. Yeah, Amston. Amston, can you explain that uh, how this main uh, main engine lubrication is done? The main engine lubrication is done. yeah the two two stroke marine engine right yeah 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 so you have a separate uh, lubrication for the cylinder la, cylinder and a separate lubrication for the crankcase so as we know there are more of uh, ox, uh, sulfur oxide due to the sulfur content into the heavy fuel oil so we have a tbn of a greater like more tbn of 70 for the cylinder 
because more of uh, SO2 formation, which can cause sulfuric acid onto the liner, and then it can cause corrosion. So to inhibit that, we have a higher TBN oil used for the cylinder. So it only directs to the cylinder walls between the piston rings and the cylinder. So and and also now we have a separate uh, lube oil for the crankcase. Actually, the crankcase of a two two stroke marine engine is around. It stores around. Thousands of liters, around ten to eleven thousands of liters. So you can't use TBN of seventy over there. So it will be a very expensive. So we use a TBN of around five to six TBN, such that it lubricates only the bearings, such as the crank pin or the uh, the uh, cross cross head bearing crank pin. It goes to the main bearing. So this is how the lubrication happens in a two stroke marine diesel engine. In crankcase, there is a stuffing box. Below the stuffing box, uh, there is a crank uh, load. I T B N. So basically, uh, the stuffing box separates the uh, like the top 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 lubrication from the bottom. In case if the uh, line this uh, this uh, piston rings get damaged, you no, know, you can have the exhaust blowing into the crankcase, so it can damage. So to prevent that, we have a stuffing box to separate the oil. Actually, the crankcase oil which gets like uh, waste, it goes into the drain. It doesn't go into the crankcase. While the okay, okay. got it now. Yeah, uh, I got it. It got clear. We use a uh, lesser TBN because uh, the stuffing box doesn't allow the exhaust gases to pass into the crankcase, right? So a yeah, and there is also not uh, sulfur, sulfur or any oxide form into the crankcase. You don't have combustion forming, so you, it is useless using TPM. Yeah, yeah, that's why TPM six or seven is maintained. Got it. Yes, yes, yes. Octavio, yes, uh, please. Uh, how I had a question actually. Yeah. How lube oil enters the top portion? So the cylinder oil is stored in a uh, different uh, tank, and uh, with the help of quills and a gear pump. It is passed to the quills, which is injected uh, through the cylinder liner. In between the crank, uh, in between the just uh, pins. So it is circumferentially around the liner. You have circumferentially spraying of the lube oil. So very minute, minute lube oil, not uh, very too, too much of. So we use a gear pump and not a centrifugal pump. While in a crank case, we use a centrifugal pump. Reason is because you there is more heat generation for the rotary parts, and then you require high flow rate. That's why I use a centrifugal pump at the crank case, and and a gear pump because high pressure is required for the liner between the piston rings and the liner, so that effective lubrication happens. So we use a gear pump for the cylinder liner for two stroke marine diesel engine. This cylinder uh, lube oil is directly injected with the help of the quills. In between the piston rings, correct? It is circumferentially on the liner. On the Some line. part, yeah, from, okay. yeah, from there. Okay. okay. So, any other questions? Uh, on the rocker arm, is there a injection needle or something uh, by which some lube oil enters? Uh, sorry, exits. Have any idea about this question? I have no idea about it. Rocker arm. I don't think so. I don't think so. There should be lubrication over because there. there be, but I have not heard about the it. Ca the, cam shaft, the cam shaft is connected with the rocker arm, and I have seen the figure, but I didn't have seen the any fuel or a lube or something there. It Which will. Be, it it it. Where the grease will. Where did you refer? It? Which figure did you refer? I I. Actually, I was uh, looking on YouTube, and uh, yesterday I have uh, uh, go out go through it. That is a rocker arm, and I have seen the figure. That it is mounted on the cam shaft, and uh, it is uh, uh, regulate the valve timing. I know, the but valve... there is motion. No, there is some motion, so lubrication is required over there. There should be some lubrication. I think so. There lubrication is... will be there. There is lubrication. Lubrication will be there. I I uh, I don't th uh, lubrication will be there. But uh, uh, have you asked something? I think you you asked something else. The question was: uh, Is there any fuel uh, fuel injection or? How? Yes, this was the question. I know. I think lubrication, lubrication will be there, the but uh, there is no. 
I know for the four stroke, four stroke auxiliary engine, there is a line going to the cylinder head for the rocker arm and other parts. So there should be for the two stroke also. Otherwise, it would cause wear and tear. There should be one line going to the this, but it should won't be TBN of seventy. It will be a lower grade. So the crankcase will be piloted to the crank the cylinder head. I think we can confirm it with someone. I will confirm with Sandy and tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you. Any other questions? Uh, should we uh, go on with uh, viscosity and uh, fluid mechanics? Does anybody has questions from uh, fluid mechanics? Well, let's just continue with the uh, uh, viscosity index. What is viscosity index? May I? Yes. Actually, it means the change in viscosity with the temperature occur. The high viscosity index means the viscosity does not affect while change in temperature in that range. Yes, and the lower viscosity means. Uh, more viscosity will be changing with respect to temperature, right? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So in lieu oil, we want higher viscosity index, and in fuel oil, we want lower viscosity index, correct? Yes. Okay. Let's just move forward. Uh, what is a fluid? The fluid is a substance that can uh, uh, flow and uh, occur, uh, take a shape in which it pour. So, for us, one cross question for you: You said fuel oil. This fuel, fuel oil should have the heavy fuel oil should have low viscosity index, right? Yeah. No. Then how, how would it atomize then into the fuel injector? Actually, that that was a doubt. It is a really a doubt. Actually, both have the high uh, viscosity index because when we are working, uh, we are dealing. So it should not be changed with a high range of temperature. Both even lube oil and uh, uh, fuel. Uh, and second thing you said. Fuel oil. I think uh, because. The temperature should little bit change right for fuel oil since uh, if we will be going to uh, uh, higher temperature regions but we don't want that to happen in dew oil if uh, we are saying you have read it somewhere so you have read it somewhere this the dreamer point. package it was mentioned right i, I don't remember i think uh, it's mentioned in dreamer package also not sure, but I think it's mentioned in Dreamer package. I have to cross check it. But um, maybe, but uh, I think the Pranit sir was uh, told us that uh, it, it should be the high viscosity index because we need a kind of a uh, kind of liquid which do not have uh, do not have a kind of viscosity which vary with the temperature. But because there is a change of temperature and uh, we should not we should not that uh, viscosity should be changed with it but uh, if the viscosity uh, the viscosity index of uh, fuel oil will be higher then we need to heat it okay i got it i got it in comparison you are saying it uh yes, yes then it will be okay am i right I'm okay sorry. so we need to heat it and bring it to 13 yeah 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 you're correct you're correct Yes, of course. So viscosity, yeah, viscosity index is mainly done because the adding some additives or something. So you can't add uh, additives in all the heavy fuel oil, like you burn around two thousand liters or something. So you can't afford to get the viscosity index that not to change. So you can't add additives and all. So it's uh, basically like you heat the heavy fuel oil yeah. before being injected. Yeah, so yeah, yeah correct. The viscosity index is correct. It makes one, sense. One thirty to one thirty degrees Celsius. Yeah. 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 So, uh, you said, uh, what was the uh, answer you told me about fluid? What is a fluid? Can you please repeat it again? Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
a fluid is a substance that has potential to flow and it can take a shape in which it is poured yes because of which uh, weak intermolecular forces correct we what you said last it takes the shape mm. of the in which it is poured let's say will it take the uh, shape of the container yes it is how how it won't because take guess is how it will take the yeah, shape of the liquids, uh, you can't say it will take the shape of the container uh, i think it is the property of fluid maybe uh i will check out it but uh, i think the fluid has the tendency to uh, take the shape in which it is poured what is fluid a gas or a liquid tell me both it can be the tendency which can the tendency of flowness the substance has the tendency of flowness it is known it can be known as fluid what about you give me uh I can i try uh, yes yes uh, fluid is a substance that cannot remain arrested when it uh, shear stress is applied on it uh, i just have a simple definition uh, then you can uh, add your inputs i am sure uh, please add uh, anything else anything that can flow is called a fluid because of its weak intermolecular forces between them correct Yes. Like yeah, very, yes. very correct. Okay. So uh, this one, uh, who's told right? I think it applies only in fluid. Uh, sorry, only in liquid, right, Emerson? Yes, yes, correct. But gases can be also uh, kept in a bottle, stored in a bottle, right? So well, provided the bottle is sealed, if you keep a gas which is wherein your bottle is kept open. So it won't take the shape of the bottle. It will escape, right? Got it. Got it. Correct. Or a container which is open, or something, yeah, or vessel yeah. that is kept open, it will escape. And yes, if yes. You, same, if you keep a liquid, it will take the shape of the container. So it like contradicts. Correct. Correct. Only it will apply on this property. Will only apply on uh, liquid. Yeah. So. Makes sense, na? No? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 How does the fluid flow? Uh. Oh. potential difference due to potential difference yes and uh, due to uh, pressure difference right pressure difference yes if anybody uh, else also have questions please uh, add it yeah i have one question yeah what is steam hammering and how does it happen in boiler okay uh, let me try so when we don't require steam we close the valves right and there is still steam present in the pipelines right so after some time after few hours that steam that is being present in the pipelines gets condensed into water as the temperature falls as and after few uh, days when we require steam again we open the valves and as the steam new steam flows to the pipeline it comes in contact with the water that is being already present there correct so this new steam that has been passed after well, coming in contact with water it will also condense back into liquid as 17 as 1650 liters of steam is equal to 1 liters of water and vacuum will be produced and this water will flow from higher pressure region to low pressure region and will be banging the valves which may damage the valves am i right amston yeah you mean the when a steam have uh, more volume as compared to water so when a steam uh, super heated uh, it take more volume and when it condense uh, when it come with uh, with water it condense so sudden decreases of uh, volume can create a i think also yes a shock web yes a shock web will be created yes correct so the volume will the the steam will condense back into water due to which the reduction in volume takes place and a yeah. low pressure region will be created right so in short we can we say that the sudden uh, drop of pressure and the sudden drop of volume decreases of volume will create a shock web 
I uh, had a definition, but I don't have the boiler notes right now. I can send you the definition. I get a better answer for that question. Steam Hamel. I'll message you okay. that answer, all right? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. What's equation of continuity? Equation of continuity? Yeah. Uh, it says that the, for a... Uh, it is stated that the uh, when we decrease the cross sectional area velocity will increase but the mass uh, will remain constant yeah the rate at which the fluid enters into the system is equal to mm. the rate at which the fluid leaves the system, leaves the system. correct uh, a1 is, is equal to a2 yeah that, so am i am i uh, did i say correct no you also say the same thing yeah. I just uh, went to the Greenwich package definition. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So the uh, the cross sectional area will the uh, continuity is question said that the cross sectional area will decrease the uh, the velocity will increase and the mass uh, the flow of mass will remain same. Yes, the flow of mass okay. will remain same. That mass of fluid that is being entering is equal to uh, yeah. the flow of mass that is leaving the system. The velocity will increase, right? The pressure will decrease. Yeah. So, uh, any applications of uh, equation of continuity on board? Uh, on board the centrifugal pump first. And uh, nozzles. Nozzles, yeah, yeah nozzles. And mm. in fire hydrants, nozzles, yes, correct. Pump and nozzles. Yeah. Fire hydrants can be and uh, it is car washing. Car, car washing. washing. No, washing. He, he asks on board ship. Ship yeah. or oh, fire hydrants is the best example. Yeah, I think fire hydrants would be the good example. Fire? What? Fire? Fire hydrants. Fire hydrant. Oh, okay. What's Vansory effect? The effect? Venturi effect. Venturi effect is uh, you mean Bernoulli's principle? Yeah, uh, Bernoulli's principle. Uh, what's the definition of Venturi effect? Like uh, it's little bit different, okay. right? It's the same thing. So, what is the difference of Bernoulli's principle and equations? So, equation is mathematical terms or principle in physics terms? Is it? I think this definition goes by same, right? Like Bernoulli's apply in two things on water, on air, or both. So if the uh, if interviewer asks the Bernoulli's principle, so we, uh, so which with uh, what definition we have to choose? When a fluid like, flows through a pipeline. Yeah, for a incompressible liquid flowing in a uh, yeah continuous stream, their particle can move from one place to another, but the. Uh, Energy remains same, I think. Yeah, you can say uh, this way uh, when a fluid uh, flows through a pipeline, the sum of the energy is equal to constant at all different points. Yeah, you okay. can say it this way. Okay, uh, so but uh, I remember one uh, is uh, for incompressible liquid flowing in a continuous stream. Their particle can move from one place to another, but the energy remains same in all point. Yes, same thing. Yeah, Some of the energies remain as a constant. Yeah. So, can you uh, give me some applications of uh, Venturi's effect on board? Or any example of uh, Venturi effect? Fresh water generator. Fresh water generator on board, yes. In eductor, right? Yes. Uh, can you please explain this? I didn't get it. Like the example of Venturi effect. Example of Venturi effect in fresh water generator. Fresh water generator. So Venturi effect means like the cross sectional area or velocity related? It's uh, the velocity increases, right? When yeah, cross sectional when the area water decreases. water passes through the constricted section of the pipe. Mm -hmm. So the velocity increases and uh, the pressure decreases with which the low pressure yeah. is being created. And uh, yeah. in phase water generator, uh, first one uh, 
sea water line is connected mm -hmm. to the condenser right mm -hmm. then it flows out it uh, absorbs the heat from the water vapor that is present due to which the, it cools down and uh, fresh water is generated and then this uh, sea water flows to the to uh, two flows to two separate lines right one goes to the inductor and one goes to the evaporator so when this uh, water flows to the inductor and goes to the constrictor section of the pipe the velocity increases due to which the pressure decreases and low pressure is created and one of that uh, one pipe is connected to the inductor which is connected to the cell of the fresh water generator so the vacuum is created inside the cell of the fresh water generator and when the uh, water that is coming from the main engine cooling it is heating the water that is being present in the condenser right yes uh, vaishak you want to uh, say something but i have doubt on the gear pump you have a doubt on gear pump yes sir yes. uh, the full explanation or uh, what is your doubt you know uh, when the gears are coming out of the mesh the volume increases yeah yes so so how does the pressure decrease? Uh, we know that in centrifugal pump, when the uh, the defining is carried out such a way that the volume is increasing, so pressure energy increases in that case. Now, how does the uh, pressure energy decrease at the gear pump? So when uh, area is increasing, when the gears are coming out of the mesh, the area is increasing, right? Yeah. yeah. And as we know that when area increases, area is increases or volume is increases. The Which volume, volume is the yes, sorry, sorry. Volume is increasing, correct? Yeah. And then the negative pressure is being created at that point, correct? Yeah, yeah. And on the other side, as the gears are going volume. through the mesh, yeah, the volume, volume decreases. Is decreasing, right? Yeah. So the pressure, the pressure is increasing. Increases. Have uh, you got it? So in the case of centrifugal pump, the pressure, how the pressure is increasing, you are saying in, in case of centrifugal pump? It's same. Uh, not, uh, yeah, same. The thing is same. When the fluid pass, when the liquid water passes to the, first the flow is taking place, the liquid is passing to the eye of the impeller, then the impeller imparts centrifugal force, right? Then the impeller vanes guide the water radially outwards and then in the water flows to the volume case. The cross-sectional area or the volume of the casing is gradually increasing, right? And when mm -hmm. it is increasing, the velocity decreases. The velocity yeah. of the fluid is decreasing, due to which the kinetic energy of the fluid is increasing because of Bernoulli's theorem, right? You got it? Yeah, okay. okay. Does have, uh, anyone uh, have a better explanation? In centrifugal pump? Yeah, in centrifugal pump. Yeah, can I try? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in centrifugal pump, suction was created in I of an impeller due to centrifugal force act on the fluid. Which fluid get displaced from I of an impeller to Cast out radially output to toward the casing due to centrifugal force act on the fluid. When fluid get displaced, there is a vacuum pressure created in IF and impeller. So suction was suction created in IF and impeller. Fluid get inserted, and then fluid move from fluid move uh, circumferentially circumferentially toward the casing. When the case area of casing was gradually increase, increasing to discharge side of the uh, discharge side valve, so area was gradually increasing. So according to equation of continuity, area increases, velocity decreases. If the velocity decreases, kinetic energy decreases, so pressure energy increases according to Bernoulli's theorem. To discharge side, so pressure energy was increases. This was my answer. Yes, sir. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, you are.
Uh, I had a question actually. Yeah. What is the maximum height a centrifugal pump can serve the water? Maximum height, I the in theoretically it's ten point three meter, but uh, practically it's seven point three meter, right? Yeah. Okay. It is due to the pixel loss, right? Yes, because of the pixel loss, it's correct. Okay, Amson is giving thumbs up. Correct difference. Yes. Oh uh, yeah, I have a doubt. Uh, if the discharge uh, was ten point three meters, you said that. Uh, if the centrifugal pump size was increasing, uh, which means the discharge side increasing, or uh, what? I didn't know. I didn't got your question actually. If the uh, if the centrifugal pump size was increasing, uh, that depends upon the. The discharge side was uh, discharge it was increased. If the pump or size of the pump will also increase, then also it will remain same, right? Otherwise, okay, okay. It will discharge it also same. Okay, okay. Okay. Yes, uh, me. Uh, I have a doubt. Like somewhere, I uh, I read like. Uh, cross sectional area and somewhere volume in case of centrifugal pump. So, yes. which one is correct? You can use both. Like discharge side. Oh, okay. I, we can use both. You can use both. You can use volume or you can use cross sectional area. You can use both. Oh, okay. Okay. Any other questions? Like the difference between safety valve and relief valve. Like what is the exactly dif differences between? Uh, somewhere I heard uh, the safety valve uh, used for compressible fluid, like vapor, gas, and steam, and relief valve used for non-compressible liquid. And uh, only one video I uh, I heard this, but other is not mentioned. Like exact exact difference. So I just want to know what is the exact difference if someone will ask what is the difference between safety valve and relief valve and in what condition we use relief or safety valve. See, uh, if a relief valve is fitted, it will only release, suppose the working pressure is 12 bars, okay, and the relief valve will lift at 16 bars. So it will just relieve, release it, release the excessive pressure that is being present. And it will bring it back in under 16 bars. Got it? But when a yeah. safety valve will release, it will release a uh, much uh, higher amount of pressure. And the pressure will drop to 8 9 bars because the area on which the pressure uh, acts in a relief valve, the area is less. The valve area is less. The mm -hmm. surface area of the valve is less. And in the relief valve, uh, in a safety valve, the surface area is much higher as it, as it releases uh, the excessive pressure. Yeah, more air. Lifts it, more, the area increases, right? Yeah. So it will release a much higher amount of uh, uh, pressure. And mm -hmm. coming to your differences. Uh, like, if I have some machine or components, so what I need to put? relief valve or safety valve as i know like, uh, like safety valve is used to prevent from accident and it and it open completely and and when the safety valve is open for that time the work is not operating uh, system will not operate it op operate uh, when when the the pressure will will same to the working limit but in in case of relief valve work operation is continue and uh, and it will release uh, excess pressure also yes so, yeah so like i just confuse for example i have compressors and other machines so somewhere i saw use relief valve somewhere safety valve for example safety valve is only used on boiler not in uh, compressor and not in pump but uh, we as we know that the pressure also generated in pump and compressor also why not there is safety valve only in boiler? 
I think because a much higher amount of pressure is being generated. Yeah, maybe safety uh, safety concern is more in boiler, in boiler as compared to pump. Yes, and uh, in a pump it will release the excessive amount, the relief valve will remove it, right? Or, or maybe the answer will be is uh, relief valve is enough for pump and compressor. We no need to safety valve there, maybe. Because the working pressure is less? Yeah, pressure is not much to, uh, there to use safety valve. I think, I don't know exactly. We'll find out the exact answer. Yeah. Question is, what is bilge, bilge pump? B-I-L-G-E. And what is the use in marine? Uh, bilge water pump is used to remove the bilge. Uh, that is the, the sways, the bilge sways that is uh, at the bottom of the ship's hull, right? To remove uh, that one we use bilge water pump. But the exact Main... working, I also don't know how that uh, works, the bilge uh, water pump. Like, I think it's a scientific pump, but what's the exact use of it, I also don't know. I hear that bilge pump is used to for priming purpose in centrifugal pump on board. Isn't for priming. Is, bilge pump is a, uh, is a centrifugal pump, right? Oh, bilge pump is a centrifugal pump? I'm not, I'm not sure. So, uh, vacuum pump is used, I think, no? For priming on chief. Yeah, vacuum pump is used uh, for priming on chief. Oh, okay. That for bilge... Does anybody know what's the function of the uh, bilge? I think it's in visionary, right? We have to check it. What's Archimedes principle? Uh, Archimedes principle uh, said that if a body wholly or partially submerged in a liquid, it lifted up by a force, and that uh, that force will be equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the body. And that force is called Bion force, right? Uh, yeah, which is called Bion force. Is it enough? Yeah, I think that for their definition, uh, it's enough. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think you have mentioned everything. Just name the bion with the upward force that is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced is known as bion force. You just add it. I think it's enough. And uh, applications of uh, Archimedes principle? Uh, Archimedes principle to float ship. First is the flotation of ship. And uh, Anything will float. Yeah, I think uh, mm, okay. based on uh, Archimedes principle. How does it? What uh, is like submer? Uh, if we talk about the submarine, so there the there fluid will get. Yeah, in submarine, if you see the fluid will get into the uh, submarine. Uh, what kind of I say? Um, like like, uh, water, like, like meta center is different uh, is opposite I think no, meta, no, center... meta center was same but if you see in the sum again the fluid will uh, get into the the seawater fluid will get into the sum again uh, in one part of the I don't I don't remember the name of the part of the ship uh, mm -hmm. one part of the ship so it will get uh, down. Yeah, if, I we see in, if we see in normal ship, the overall density of the ship is less than the density of the water. sea water. Not density, we can say the surface area is more. That's why it's uh, remove more water, it displays yeah. more water. No, overall yeah. density is correct. But over, yeah, overall density. Yeah. Being overall density is correct. The hull is designed in such a way that it displaces. But I think both were right? design and density both, and it's hollow inside. Yeah, in ship that was hollow. Uh, if you what feel is the hollow? what is hollow? The, like hollow means the ship is not completely solid in shape. There will be some vacuum. 
like if it yeah like if we talk the the example of why she float and why nail sink yeah so uh, the uh, the area of ship is more so it can, it displays more water and it not in solid like a nail nail is solid in ship completely solid and ship is not there will ship be some ship is also solid no Same not way. like that solid like a like i heard and read somewhere like sleep is uh, not com- we can say the solid in shape see, see how they- to say no don't say solid any solid are both the nail is also solid your sheep is also solid so what you can say is you can say the overall density of the sheep is made lesser this is done by increasing its volume comparative to mass as we know density is mass by volume so increase the volume comparative to the mass while we have a nail wherein the mass is more than its volume so that's why the overall density is more and it sinks in water while in the sheep you have a volume more compared to its mass that's why the overall density decreases this makes this makes it a float on water and secondly because of archimedes principle as it has more volume it can displace more amount of fluid so what archimedes says is the more the volume of liquid displaced that is weight the liquid displaced more the upward buoyant force so more the volume of liquid displaced that's why the upward buoyant force is more so that is how the the ship flows and the nail sinks got it now uh, also also there are two plates you know in between there is space at the bottom part of the ship no 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 nothing like that those are all uh, blast tank blast tank blast what i think there is there is no world i think there is glass water okay. system is for stability not for float what plates i think got it uh, what plates what are there voids like that because i worked on the ship there are there were no this no voids no, anywhere no voids no, no void. there is a space no at the uh, bottom end so why did it is there no there which bottom end uh like the bottom part of the ship, the down part of the ship on yeah, the top is, those are called blast tank. those are called blast tank when you load the cargo so the weight increases so you have a they, for stability like, yeah for stability no yeah not yeah for stability okay. in fact when cargo is not there when cargo yeah. is there those tanks will be empty in, bo- in both case in both case uh, loading and unloading in both case what, so what happens pardon unloading and loading what happens like cargo unloading and car, uh, and when cargo is on on ship so in both time use uh, blast water tank to uh, for stability or in weather no, no, in no, no. bad yeah, weather condition empty, you are taking it wrong draft, right? see when cargo is no not there means the stability will be less so the ship will be like all kada uh, kada then you have water inside the tanks to stabilize it so more of water in the tanks Yeah, I said wine while unloading. Ah. Unloading okay. means to to. Yeah, yeah, got it, got. It. Yeah, and while loading the condition time weather is not good, so we use blast tank also to for stability. I mentioned uh, blast water is required to maintain the draft too, right? So that the propeller is uh, fully submerged under the water. Yes, 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 yes. Even the propeller to dip and yeah, also yeah. to maintain stability. Okay, so when cargo is not there, it means the ship will be moving. Mean the raft. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Last Correct. water while in, while cargo is not there, so it means yeah. more of more of water in the ballast tank. More while if water. you have cargo, cargo the water is removed from the ballast tank. Only little will be there. It's for the cargo weight, so it depends. I have a question uh, in this part. When the cargo yeah. uh, is loading, when we are yeah. loading cargo on board, at the yes. same time we are uh, discharging the water. Is it right? No idea about it. How they do it? Because uh, sir has uh, uh, like uh, yeah. If we have lo- load part, on ship, he just only told that uh, the charge should be be taking place, right? Yeah, so I think that... yes. Because if we have load and uh, and we also have water inside, so it it will you know kind of sinking conditions. So that's why we need to discharge. But maybe we are not allowed to discharge uh, the last water. Yeah. In different, uh, in different uh, no, we are allowed. Blast is only sea water, not the this bilge water. It okay. is blast is only sea water. So blast water is, is allowed to be uh, discharged any yeah, discharge any discharge different over. ocean, yeah. like it disturb marine ecosystem. Uh, okay, okay. Then I then I think uh, while uh, loading. We will say marine ecosystem. Okay, 
so the interview will think there will be fishes and all in the this they can't get they, they, they can be fishes but just mention there is sea water so yeah marine ecosystem they will be like he will be saying like there will be plants yeah. and all uh, marine plants marine fishes no i just saying so for he'll, he'll uh, information here not for interview I, we, we have no problem see interview you if you go no they like throw you up if you say my marine ecosystem and yeah for your own yeah. good okay got it <laughs> yeah cross <Yes>, question <laughs> yeah Yes, so since uh, sea water has been taken in, so is there a chance of corrosion? Oh, if corrosion chance is there, so what's done to tackle with that over there in the ballasting? Usually paints, the paints take the care of it. Special kind of paint, paint coatings and all. And also... Cathodic protection? Pardon? Uh, the protection uh, we use like for to prevent the galvanic corrosion. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is also used cathodic using zinc. Uh, I think it is cathodic protection. Cathodic uh, protection, right? Anodic sacrificial cathodic. anode. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. sorry. Sacrificial, sacrificial anode. anode yes. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. So I think uh, I think this principle is done, right? What's the differences between uh, what is evaporation and boiling? Then we will go to the differences of evaporation and boiling. Anybody? So I'll just uh, I'll say the explanations, okay? Uh, the definitions. Like evaporation is the process of uh, when the uh, when liquid changes into vapor state right and uh, boiling is the rapid vaporization of liquid am i right when the yeah, yeah. vapor pressure uh, is equal to the atmospheric pressure or so what is it safra vapor pressure equal to the atmospheric pressure no, no, no. Vapor pressure, this overcomes the atmospheric pressure, that, that's when the uh, boiling happens. Okay, so vapor pressure is higher than the atmospheric pressure, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the definition should be rapid vaporization of liquid when the vapor pressure is higher than the atmospheric pressure, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. And the uh, differences uh, between uh, evaporation and boiling? Can anybody uh, explain? Yeah, pressure is slow process. Boiling is a fast process. Yeah, pressure yes, it's, it's can be done at uh, any temperature. Boiling yes. is at the boiling point. Yes, and also evaporation takes place at the surface, right? And boiling uh, takes place at the whole uh, uh, volume. Yeah, yeah. Okay, is there any other differences to add uh, in this question? Evaporation was a cooling process and the boiling was a heating process. Am I correct? It's not cooling. Evaporation is cooling. Condensation is cooling, not evaporation. Okay. I think he's giving the example of when we sweat and evaporate after. The sweating, yeah, then the cooling table was taking place, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, Amir. Uh, like my question is, uh, what is the use of diffuser? Like, uh, and as we know that in volute casing, uh, we have volute casing, so we do we need their diffuser or it's enough uh, to create pressure? I don't know this answer. Does anybody else? Hamster? What is that? Diffuser. Volute casing. Diffuser in Diffuser. pump. Yeah, use of diffuser in pump. And uh, and which pump? Like, as we know that vortex, volute, and guided blade casing pump. So, in which pump we need diffuser to decrease velocity and to increase pressure? As we know that in yeah. volute casing, we also have the shapes to, to create enough pressure. No, no idea about it. Diffuser, I have noted the question. Where have you got diffuser? 
uh, while uh, studying i heard a diffuser used in pump to uh, reduce velocity to increase pressure i it is also used in compressor not only in pump I don't think so. It's necessary to say in the components of pumps, right? No, no. I just, I just want to uh, okay. uh, no, uh, no use, no, not to use in okay. front of anybody. Uh, we need to find the answer. Is there any uh, other differences between boiling and uh, evaporation? I think uh, one is. Vapor bubbles are not formed in evaporation, right? But uh, bubbles formation takes place in boiling. So when the vapor pressure increases, then the vapor uh, in the atmospheric pressure, right? Uh, but uh, evaporation takes place after boiling, I think. So first it will uh, before evaporation, it's need to be boil of uh, formation no, of vapor. evaporation can take place at any temperature, right? In ponds, lakes, evaporation takes place at any temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. So you mean evaporation takes place in lower, lower uh, than the boiling temperature? Boiling uh, takes place will take place at the boiling point. Correct. When the yeah, we need to increase more temperature. When the pressure vapor pressure will be higher than the atmospheric pressure, but evaporation can take place at any temperature. Correct. Yeah. Evaporation was a slow process. Yeah, the it's a boiling slow process. Was a, uh, boiling was a first process. Uh, yeah, first. Yes. Evaporation does not depend on the pressure, right? Atmospheric pressure. Uh, pardon? Can you please uh, repeat it? Evaporation less depend upon the pressure. Sorry, I didn't. Uh, still, I didn't got it. So uh, you said that when the pressure you were saying when the pressure increases the boiling point increases. Are you saying that? Yeah. Yes. Yes. That, that is affecting the boiling, right? But in evaporation, is it? I am not like getting that. your question. What does it mean? Can you type it? Yeah, please type it. Yes, yes. Then we will get it. Here. Yes, me. Yeah, I, like the, you said, uh, vapor, air bubbles. Uh, sorry. Vapor bubbles. Yeah, vapor bubbles will happen if the pressure goes below the atmospheric pressure. Yes. Or below the vapor, or we can say, uh, or we can say, below the vapor pressure, or only the below the atmospheric pressure. When the vapor pressure increases. Then the atmospheric pressure, then bubbles will uh, form. Does evaporation depend on atmospheric pressure? Okay, he's asking. Okay. No, it doesn't depend on uh, the atmospheric pressure. Any given pressure, it will still evaporate. So, what is vapor pressure? Pressure at which liquid turns into vapor. Vapor pressure is a lower pressure than the atmospheric pressure. The kind of vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by the vapors right, when equilibrium is established. Suppose uh, we have two containers. In one container, the lid is closed, and on one container, the lid is open. So, in the container in uh, which the lid is open, when we heat the water that is being present in the container, the vapor pressure will, uh, the vapor, bu the bubbles will jump out of the container, right? The water will vaporize and move out of the container. But what will happen in the closed container is that when we heat the water, the vapors will be produced, will go and hit the lid, which will come back uh, again get condensed in the water, will hit the water and get condensed, right? So the rate of evaporation is equal to the rate of condensation and that's when the equilibrium is established, right? Am I correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, me? 
uh, what is the third law of thermodynamics dynamics in a perfect crystal the सिंपल वर्ड सो आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड definition is not enough for me so friends you all had a session with orvin sir yesterday i the session was not uh, i not conduct it was not conducted yet okay 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 so we, sh- we should note all the questions and yeah, then i am noting the questions yes okay 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 I mean, I have the explanation for the third law, but I was pretty confused uh, when I got this explanation. I noted down from my website: the entropy of a system approaches a constant value as the temperature ap- uh, approaches absolute zero. Like the temperature, like uh, for example of ice, temperature of ice further drops. The moment the mo- uh, drops, moment of molecules is restricted. Right, the entropy decreases. The ice is cooled to absolute zero, ideally. the entropy should be zero but in reality it is impossible to cool any substance to zero correct absolute zero is a uh, minus uh, 273 degree uh, celsius right amstel does anybody has any other explanation regarding the third law of thermodynamics I think this will be enough, right? The entropy of a substance approaches a constant value as the temperature approaches absolute zero. Then you can give the explanation of the ice example of ice. So I have one more question. What's the role of uh, pressure on uh, boiling? If the pressure was decreases, the boiling point, uh, boiling temperature also decreases. uh in case of uh example of uh, water water boils at 100 degree 100 degree temperature at one atmospheric pressure if the pressure goes decreases the boiling temperature also decreases uh if say that uh, we can uh minimize the pressure by increasing the velocity in fresh water generator We have uh, increased the velocity, so pressure energy decreases. So don't pressure don't energy mention de- that. Don't don't mention that. Just mention what the, what the as the boiling point de- reduces the this the sorry the, when the pressure reduces the boiling point reduces. Don't go to fresh water generator. And, and okay. Question okay. so, because don't don't relate that Bernoulli's theorem to this. Okay, this is different. Can you give a live example next uh, regarding this? For example, the uh, states of India and all the top state, uh, bottom states, so like that. Like in Mount Everest, if we will go and in, yeah, yeah. in Goa, so the pressure will be more in Goa, right? And as we because the we have air above us, so the air molecules have weight, and it which one bar pressure is being applied, right? So if we will go to Mount Everest, one fourth of the pressure is being applied, as there is less air above us, so the pressure will decrease. And as the pressure is decreasing, the boiling point is also decreasing. You can take an example of uh, thermostatic expansion wall in VC August. Yes, yeah. When the pressure uh, decreases, temperature decreases. Oh. So, so where will food uh, cook faster? Is it in uh, mountains or in uh, sea level? at sea level why or at sea level uh, can you please what was the question uh, where will food cook faster it will uh, cook faster in mountain or it will cook faster in sea level sea, sea level, level. when the pressure more... increases yeah please sir the boiling point increases so the 
food can be cooked fast. Yes, yes. So that's why the pressure cooker. Uh, we can take cooker, yeah. Yeah. If we cook vegetables in two pots, one is a pressure cooker, one is an empty one. Since yeah, and another is mass is not able to transfer, yes. and we can use steam to cook faster. We can cook. Uh, we can cook at a constant pressure. No, if the, uh, there is a question, uh, someone has asked, uh, like, uh, why uh, we uh, why cook uh, food cook fast in cooker pressure cooker? Yeah, because of constant pressure in cooker. Because it's in a closed environment. The yeah, vapors not are not able to pass move out, right? So the Transfer, pressure is yeah. increasing. So the boiling point is also increasing. And as the boiling point is increasing, the food is cooked at a higher rate. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, and steam is also used to cook. And as we know, the steam has uh, have high pressure inside, so it helps to cook food fast. Because the steam is not uh, transferring; it is still in the, inside the closed vessels. Yeah, as it is in a closed chamber. For, yeah. For the pressure increase. So uh, I have Why a question. Why steam carry? Hello. Yes. Yes. Why steam carry more amount of heat than water? It's, uh, because it has uh, more heat uh, required to to change its uh, mm. it, because it gains more temperature, right? As uh, it is uh, changing, if we really take the example of when the water is heat, being heated from hundred degrees Celsius. How much energy is required? I forgot the exact energy. How much energy is required? As uh, wait, I wrote it down. I just want to. Two thousand two hundred sixty-seven kilojoules, right? For one bar. This this energy used for one bar pressure. Yes, uh, in one bar at hundred degrees Celsius. Yeah. Kilojoule, you said. But much more heat is required to change the temperature of steam, right? Yeah, for superheating. For superheating, that's why the steam uh, is more heated. Anyone has any explanation? Yeah, this is a good question. So why uh, steam carry more energy or more heat than the water? Can anybody else explain it? Or is it enough uh, if you will say this uh, this part? I have one question. Uh, as we know that the pump will not work if the air will enter. Why air blower work? If the air will enter inside the pump, right? No, like uh, if the air not able to pump in the pump and but it worked with air blower uh, there is also an impeller so how it's possible like but why not uh, it won't be uh, able to suck uh, water right so as the air is uh, uh, rotating and the discharge valve is open then uh, it will be able to Blow out. And it, both the design are same, no? The air compressor, centrifugal compressor, and the centrifugal pump design are mostly the same. So why air causes a problem in the centrifugal while not in the air compressor? He meant like that. So please note. Yeah, uh, air blower. Yeah, note it down. We'll, we can ask for wind, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Design will be different, I think. The blades and all will be designed will be different. Uh, uh, one answer. Uh, one, point I, uh, one point I know that uh, is uh, in. Uh, in centrifugal pump, uh, we you uh, centrifugal pump push because as we know that the water is incompressible, so it push uh, the water and, and air is compressible. If we if we try to push, it not able to push. It get it it get uh, compressed again and again. So in blower, we use velocity, not we push. We use velocity to uh, discharge. Uh, like I'm talking about blower, you know, blower, centrifugal blower, same. Yes, yes. So, they, like I write the answer, 
एयर ब्लोअर सक एयर एंड ब्लो इट आउट विथ लॉट ऑफ फोर्स इट डज नॉट पुश द एयर लाइक पम्प I think push or pressure is different thing. In centrifugal pump we use pushes, and in air blower we use force, high velocity force. In so, centrifugal pump, if air will be there, the air will not be uh, removed from the pump, right? But the blower is removing. Yes. Like. Uh, If the air will present in the pump, we know that the air density is lower and its in air is incompressible. So if air will stuck with pump, so pump will not able to push. I I think the blades of the blower are somewhat adjustable. Mm, I don't know, but uh, but that kind of question uh, has asked before in interview. I don't know exactly which inter which company's interview, but it. You are saying that the air compressor of the centrifugal pump, right? No, not air air blower blower. Air blower different. Air compressor is different. Okay. Air blower is. See you know, for the blades, know how they are designed and all. See for the blades and design of the. When blades. I search, I only got that that answer. Because pump works on how it is like fluid gets sucked and then radially moves outward, so that is how suction pressure is created. If you have air inside between, then it co- will compress inside the water chamber or something, and water won't move. So that's how pump works. The air compressor, you have only air moving inside, so it easily displaces. I think because this design of the like, blades and all. I was looking at the uh, image of a centrifugal blower. It's also backward curve. Uh, I think the only answer is uh, like we push because as we know that the water is not able to compress, so we it can easily push. And air is not able to push, and not able to uh, it it's able to compress. We can take the example of syringe. We can uh, if we try it if we uh, close the upper part of the syringe. and if you try to push the uh, injection plunger so it not able to push but air is easily to push so in centrifugal pump pushing principle is work and in air blower the velocity work still have some doubt in just not not yeah, this yeah, yeah. we can ask in the next better yeah very good question yeah. yes bhai sir in turbocharger we use air blower or air compressor we use a compressor with it right? yeah compressor turbocharger use compressor i think pranit sir mentioned about air blower right reamer package this is centrifugal type of air compressor you are saying uh, air compressor can be any type it can be like yeah. reciprocating type or rotary no. type they can be many Let as we know that marine exhaust turbocharger you can take the example they are uh, the compressor and a turbine that used to compress air you will find a compressor wheel and a turbine too turbocharger i think compressor okay any other questions have uh, we What is Reynolds number? Reynolds number is used to find the fluid uh, laminar or or turbulent. That like if the Reynolds number is below two thousand, and the fluid will be laminar, and it's um, uh, between and above the two thousand is called be turbul. Uh, what is it? Turbulence. Turbulent. Yeah, turbulence. If it's higher than four thousand, then it's turbulent. And uh, round number is the ratio between the inertia force and. The first, the correct values are less than two thousand three hundred, right? Two thousand. Two thousand. More than four thousand, it is. Uh, yeah, turbulence. Turbulent. In many in books, books no, I think three. From books three, to books. Three, three. Below is wait, wait. Below two thousand is laminar, and above four thousand is turbulence. But between two thousand and four thousand is something else. I forgot. Transition. What? what is called transition flow transition. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah 
transfers and flow maybe. But in few books it's written 2300 and few books it's also written 2000. But 2000 is man uh, is everywhere. If you search on exam Veda, so there is option uh, MCQ based on this question. Is it there only any books or any specific book you say 2000? Uh, what's in RS for me? I think so. You can't, me you can't mention you saw it from exam Veda or something. You should mention the book name. Uh, I'm is I'm also confusing that somewhere is also and uh, uh, blogs. Uh, I think it's twenty three hundred, right? Yeah, same like uh, a few layer mixture. Somewhere is different, somewhere is different. As you know that the stoichiometric few layer mixture is 1.44, 1 is to 4, 14, sorry, 1 is to 14. And if we uh, look the rich or rich mixture or uh, what's a lean mixture, the the number is different in somewhere. In, so I will also I was also confused like the what is the exact the rich mixture and uh, lean mixture value the stoichiometry is everywhere same but the rich and less uh, lean is different different in every other website rich will be different only now because if you go deviate from the stoichiometric ratio more more the fuel it will cause richer mixture if you have less it will cause less mix. So it, it, it should be enough. Mm. Yeah, we have to. So if we say, if someone will say, what is the exact? Uh, Rich mixture means any value more than for uh, this uh, one. One is constant. Uh, one is for petrol and 14, 13, 15 is for uh, air. Yeah. So any value more than one will be rich mixture. Any value less than one will be no, no. Rich. Like change will changes always uh, will be in fourteen. Like if the lower than fourteen means uh, the rich mixture, okay. and uh, higher than fourteen is uh, lean mixture. Fourteen okay. is defined the value of air, and one is for okay, petrol. Okay. So is it asking interviews or no? Lean mixture, rich mixture. No, no. I don't, I don't know. This is a floor. Can you tell me what is the floor? Floor is the amount of liquid passing uh, through a pipe per second. The rate at which the fluid is passing through an area, right? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, like uh, meter second meter per second hey, sorry what is will be the unit meter cube per second right meter cube per second yeah meter yeah. cube per second okay and uh, how is uh, flow rate measured venturi meter yes and uh, or orifice, orifice yeah orifice meter orifice type flow meter and uh, i think uh, one is turbine flow meter right what turbine type flow meter Turbine type no Yeah. So what are you going to ask? You know how how does it work, Sapra? How the turbine flow this flow meter works? Uh, so the turbine is fitted in a section of a pipe. So the turbine is made up of a uh, semiconductor material. So when in the the flow is taking place, it rotates like uh, the pa permanent magnets are fitted in the turbine. And uh, when the uh, flow is taking place, the turbine rotates. And as it okay. is rotating, there is a coil present at the uh, pipe casing. Okay. So the rotating magnetic field, when the permanent magnet will rotate, you get a rotating magnetic field, right? Yeah, yeah. So an EMF, according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, an EMF will be induced in the coil too, right? Yes, yes, yes. So when the EMF is being induced, uh, that is connected to a, I forgot the exact name of the meter, just one second. Written, uh, yeah. And how does this, this meter work, the government ones which come, so they generate electricity, this no, the they bill. Generate the they... electricity and it is connected to a uh, rotating meter. Yeah. Which rotates and displays the number as the flow is increasing uh, day by day, the number okay. also increases. 
ओके ओके सो इट्स अ टर्बाइन टाइप ओनली या दिस इज अ टर्बाइन टाइप फ्लो मीटर इट इट मे बी अ ओरिफेस टाइप फ्लो मीटर टू इफ इट्स अ ओरिफेस टाइप फ्लो मीटर देन प्रेशर डिफरेंशियल इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज फिटेड ओके 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 सो वेयर यू रिफर्ड फॉर दिस वेयर यू रिफर्ड आई थिंक आई गॉट अ लाइक इन YouTube देयर आर वेरी डिफरेंट वीडियोस ओके ओके बट व्हेन सर वाज एक्सप्लेनिंग ही वाज सेइंग अबाउट प्रेशर एंड प्रेशर डिफरेंशियल या इन द ओरिफिस वन डिफरेंशियल arms and it will be connected on both the sides of the pipe okay so when the flow is taking place to the orifice the velocity is increasing right yes yes and it's getting constricted it right? has some relation right yes, some yes. formula is there yeah there is a formula to uh, the vena uh, contractor yeah so the both the arms of the pressure differential uh, will be connected one will be connected to the vena contractor and the other side will be connected towards when um, before the orifice Okay, okay, okay. And the formula, I don't know the formula actually. Just okay, no issue. Uh, what about manometer? Use of manometer and differential manometer. It's used to measure a pressure difference, right? In a pipe, uh, before suppose a filter. One arm. Yeah, pressure difference. Uh, pressure difference, but use of manometer and differential. There are two types of manometer. No? differential and manometer what kinds of manometer like how we can we need differential manometer to measure uh, pressure difference or the only manometer the only manometer simple manometer is used for measuring the pressure at uh, at one section differential manometer is used for measuring the pressure at two different sections of the pipe pipe so uh, in uh, Turbo charge of filter and all we use the differential pressure uh, manometer, right? Turbo charge what? Turbo charge? Filter. Mm-hmm. So we use we use to uh, differential pressure manometer, right? Okay. Both no are, idea. Okay. Are you asking or saying? I'm asking. Uh, like I know the manometer is uh, required. No. Oh, okay. No, I don't know exactly. Can you please explain the working of three phase motor? Yeah, because that lens law. I'm not going to the book definition. I just want to know in simple language if you can explain. Like as I know, lens law is used. Electricity to... will do some other day, no, Sapra. Okay, okay, okay. Electricity part will do on some other. Okay, day. okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, no problem. We can uh, bring all our questions for electricity. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. No problem. Is there any other questions from uh, fluid mechanics? I think uh, manometer uh, Pascal's law. Yeah. Can I be explain Pascal's? In a confined space, the pressure applied to a static fluid is uh, equal in all directions. Ah, uh, when a fluid is is in enclosed vessels, uh, the pressure will be uh, exerted in equal in all direction. In all points. Sorry. Point, right? in enclosed yeah for a compressible incompressible liquid placed in a enclosed vessel and the pressure will be uh, equal in all at at all point yes. can i try yes uh when a static pressure applied on a confined liquid confined space liquid uh pressure is distributely equally uh so got the liquid in other direction equally distributed uh, pressure is equally distributed to got the liquid in all directions yes right uh, fraz uh, please uh, you give the definition of uh, pascal law so uh, pascal's law states said in a confined space when pressure is being applied in an incompressible fluid it is transferred equally in all directions 
So when the area increases, force also increases. Yes, force is being multiplied on the bigger side of the, the hydraulic jet. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are the applications of Pascal's law on board? Hydraulic lift. Ah, uh, hydraulic lift. On yeah. On board. Hydraulic lift for cargo, especially in cargo. Yes, cargo vessels no sorry container vessels to uh, to, to container loading and also in, uh, steering gear right steering gear to transfer the power from the helm to the rudder but i don't know the explanation how it works it's a too complicated thing i just know that yes this one is used uh, pascal's law is applied in steering gear too Yes. So steering, uh, ship is steering. Yeah, yeah, ship steering. When we rotate the helm, right? So mm -hmm. the power from the helm is being uh, transferred to the rudder to control the rudder movement of the rudder in steering gear system on board. Yeah, okay. And also in brakes. But brake is not there on ship. No, no, no. I am saying about brakes now. In steering oh, gear system. Bike. Yeah, yeah. In bikes, in cars, in steering gear system, uh, Pascal's law is applied. Yeah, in uh, in motorcycle, in vehicles, in uh, for braking. This this brake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can mention hydraulic actuators for the valves and. Yes, hydraulic yeah. actuators the valves. Yes. I think that's it, right? Any other uh, uses? What is the first one you all discussed? First use. Sabra. I told uh, steering gear. The first one is uh, hydraulic uh, lifts, cranes oh, on board no. cranes. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Is, is there any other example, Samson, uh, that I uh, used on board? No, I, no idea of it. In those, uh, have you seen or uh, like those uh, gates, hydraulic gates? They are on board ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that. No, I have not, never heard about it. It locks, right? So that water doesn't flow through it. You know about it? You can explain? No, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah. also, I also know that it's steering gear too, but I don't know the explanation of steering gear. And I don't think so. They will ask us the steering gear because the whole package is there for steering gear. Okay, okay, okay. But if you say for any reason, a... they ask like that. If you say steering gear, how it works and all, they ask. Yeah, then they may go right. Better to stick to ground only, like saying actuators and all. Um, yeah, don't, okay. don't let them do Lord, don't let them to ask us question that we don't know about this. I have a question. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, ship can uh, move by itself. So why are tugs used? Tugs are used uh, when For, to uh, alongside, not to move. It's used to make the ship alongside. Only for alongside. Tugs are used when uh, the ship is in. Uh, ports or it's it, uh, the ship is passing through canals, right? To uh, make the movement of right and left movement towards the starboard and uh, a port side so that it won't. Uh... Yes, Fraser. How we reverse the main engine of the ship by changing the fuel direction huh? by uh, changing the fuel timing and also there is an extra it is very very complex very complicated complex. yeah i tried yeah, yeah. to get the answer but it's very complicated <laughs> no oh, okay, i okay. sent yeah. a i sent a link you can see the Gyan, Gyan, inside even yeah marine inside you won't be able to like get it yeah it's so difficult but at some part you will understand yeah yes i i, I am noting your Gyan has sent a video, audio i think how to tell it for the interview so stick to the basic and just say uh, for the part of it i do not know can you mention that audio? 
it is there i think you can search on let's learn group even i will have to search it is there somewhere dhyan's audio is there i think okay, you, okay. Uh, only mention the simple things that uh, the we change the fuel injection time in the air starting uh, well yeah and the extra set of cam but i think fuel are, direction no two things need to be changed fuel, fuel pump and no, air change in camshaft direction so change in fuel uh, change in fuel timing yeah so no, no. I... you can't only the ch- uh, change the, you can't only reverse the engine by only change the cam directions you have to arrange uh, or alter the pump uh, fuel pump and air injection timing both does anybody have very good notes regarding this question I am trying to make notes on this question, but I am not able to. If anybody else, please. We'll ask Arvind sir how to explain it for the interview. He'll be the best one to explain. Actually, he explained. Go. He also told the same thing. No need okay. to go very deep. I think three four months ago. No need okay. to go it's very so deep. So complicated. Because very it's complicated. complicated. You need to learn a lot. Okay, okay. Now, now the propeller blades change it seems in the new new technology. The propeller blades change, and then how that's the, that's how reversing happens. But okay. in conventional type, you use those changing the air timing and all. Okay, okay. Now, what is capillarity? I think uh, fluid di- uh, mechanics. We are going to complete it. What is capillarity? capillarity is the tendency of fluid to flow through narrow tubes against the gravity that's again substantial forces like gravity and uh, why does it takes a uh, uh, place it is due to the uh, addition addition force i think can i explain it uh, in a better way why does capillarity uh, takes place i am not sure about it but i can say the uh, force of attraction between the molecules of water and uh, tube uh, they climb the tube i think because the Correct. adhesive force is uh, more than the cohesive force right and when surface tension will occur and i think the liquid will only be lift up until the point when the surface tension will be able to hold the liquid that is present right yeah yeah thank you Okay, but I still have a doubt in this part. When the area increases, the lift decreases. Correct. If the space, the narrow space, if the space increases, the uh, lift decreases. Can I never please? Uh, Are you that? talking about capillary rise? Yeah, yeah, capillary rise or something? I think there is some effect of pressure on it. I think so. Because more the area means more pressure will be acting on it, so it has some effect. I don't know really, but some pressure effect is. Okay. Okay. No, it's not on capillary. How is it taking place? And uh, applications are uses like examples of capillary effect. In normal days, kerosene rising through the cotton. Yeah, water. Uh, like when we sweep uh, our tiles, the water seeps into the cloth, right? That's also because of capillarity effect. The holes in uh, the cloth, right? Yeah, yeah. And also uh, in even uh, dye penetrant, no? Dye penetrant. Yes. In, yeah, yeah. Perfect. In dye penetrant is when the penetrant is applied, it seeps in. And uh, in plants too, right? Plants also uses the same thing. to extract the minerals and, uh, yes, yes. and to send it uh, to to the branches and all i think that's it is there any other i don't remember anything so is there any other questions uh, from fluid uh, mechanics it is used in thermometer i think thermometer okay i'm sent good night bro thank you so much for joining yeah good night i am sent Yeah, yeah. Bro, oh, yeah. I have uh, I have a question. How the angle? Yes. So first, uh, I I have so a doubt. Yes, yes.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are audible here. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Uh, for okay, written exam, uh, which which book should I uh, refer? Because there is some uh, wrong answer in the website also in the exam. There are uh, some incorrect answer. Just go so, through RS two. RS two is enough. Yes, RS two is enough. All the questions, all the. Uh, like i think 90% of exam beta and uh, india big uh, questions are present in rs kumi and if you are referring to rs kumi then i think it's enough yeah yes, why because go. of uh, there is some incorrect answer in uh, exam beta some uh, somewhat website or uh, yes there are incorrect answers is yes, correct you are right but in rs kumi yes. i think uh, almost they are correct right yes after you uh, rs kumi 5000 mcq if you don't have the book you can either get the pdf too it's shared in the group yeah i have the pdf yeah yeah yeah, yeah sir first bro uh, like the uh, ashok bro said that uh, uh, there are so many wrong questions in the rs kumi uh, i just want to ask you that what's the point of uh, preparing for the interview if some guys are if suppose i can't clear the written exam of the companies Yes, you have But, to prepare uh, for the uh, written exam too. If you are yeah, that, that's why I have some confusion. That uh, how and from where we have to study because I appeared for uh, too many companies and I only cleared the SCI exam and not the IMS Goa, not the Synergy and all. See, uh, have you appeared for Great Eastern? Uh, yes, I cleared that also. But uh, my friend also helped me in that. But sometimes we. Didn't get help from our friends, na. No? That's why I want to clear my basics and also I don't know from where we have to prepare. Many guys told me that go from RS Kurmi, but uh, there are uh, there is so many stuff uh, material in RS Kurmi. So do we have to go for, through all of that stuff? No, uh, no need to prepare from the whole book. If you are preparing, then that's very good. But what I used to do. see uh, in india which although the questions were like the answers were wrong but still i used to read go through through india which like fast they have like sets of question uh, papers right first to uh, 20 sets 30 sets so i used to go through okay. the first five and 6 uh, 7 sets of each topic okay and also in dreamer package there are a lot of questions like after the say, uh, completing the unit Yeah, in the last. In the last, go through depth too. Yeah. And we have PDFs. Uh, if you are apply, if you have applied for IMS Goa, uh, we have uh, we have lot of PDFs, right? Yeah, I also studied that PDF uh, too many times, but I don't know why I haven't cleared that exam. That's why I'm confused. IMS Goa exam uh, is uh, like written exam is little bit different. If you have although good got good marks in uh, this one, just. Uh, Uh, wait one second, just wait. Yeah, yeah. 